math, science, language, history, nutrition, cultures, geography, and fun. Bread Make, the math and science dough show. There's a lot more than fiber and good nutrition in a loaf of bread. That's why kids everywhere are making their own at Bread Makes. Bread Make brings fun and learning together. Kids work in pairs, stirring, pouring, and kneading. They move on to the challenge and fun of measuring liquids like oil and honey. They see how dry and liquid ingredients form mixtures. They define new words, words like absorption and expansion. They learn the impact of timing and temperatures. From the moment they wash their hands and tie on their aprons, they're riveted on their very own loaves of bread taking shape. From slurpy batter to soft dough and on to play dough, the fun and learning accelerate. They even create bread animals if time allows. All too soon, it's time to shape the loaves and place them in the pan to rise. Children learn to listen, to follow directions, to work side by side. Beginners as well as experienced bread makers of all ages are fascinated with the original Play-Doh and delight in the special fun of making bread together. Bake the risen loaves on site or let the children take them home for baking with family and friends. Everyone knows that bread is good for you, but did you know that the process of making bread involves many different skills? Students from Timbergrove Elementary had the opportunity to enhance their math and science skills by making their own bread. Take a look. It was a day of excitement for students from Timbergrove Elementary when they had the opportunity to do a hands-on activity that involved making their own honey wheat bread. Not only did the students learn how to make the bread, but they also learned about each natural resource. This is a mineral, but it comes from the earth. It's called a natural resource. And I know you're going to get to that this spring with your science classes. So anything that comes from the earth that's made naturally, we call a natural resource. Just like the wheat that we use to make our flour. In addition to learning about each natural resource and where it came from, students enhanced their science and math skills by making predictions, using sensory observations, and measuring the ingredients on their own. We found out that this covers science activities, math activities, economic activities, recipes, sequencing. There was just nothing about it that we didn't think was extremely helpful. Students enjoyed the hands-on bread making activities so much that they couldn't wait to take it home and bake it. I'm looking forward to eating my honey wheat bread tonight. Although science and math skills are very important, bread specialist Stacy Nevin hopes that the students will learn good eating habits from this activity. Remember, eating whole grains, such as his honey wheat bread here, is essential for a good diet. Mmm. Gloria's philosophy is not only are the children learning um, how to have a good time and all the math, the science, nutrition, but mainly the nutrition. They're learning that Twinkies aren't the best thing to eat. They can also have something like this honey wheat bread that's good for them. Teachers agreed that the bread making activity is a hit with the students. So far, it is actually exciting. I can't wait to see their bread. They're talking, they're moving, but they're wonderful. They're into the activity that they're doing because when they participate, they remember. It's just wonderful. If you'd like to learn more information about BreadMake, visit their website at www.breadmake.com. For BCPS News, this is Alice Trandai. For the fifth grade class at Friends School, it was a day of fun and also a day of helping others. As Rob Roblin reports, it was hands-on community service for youngsters who show us the meaning and the importance of our daily bread. They came dressed to make a mess, and it didn't take these fifth graders long to make a mess. Their job to make bread. Their teacher, excuse me, their bread make instructor, Gloria McAdams. Everybody needs to have a bowl between them and their partner. Mrs. McAdams has been teaching bread making since 1975. She knows what the youngsters like. Flour and fifth graders go together. It's a lot of fun. 
get to be all dirty and no one cares. I'm getting kind of messy here. When you're stirring it, a lot of it flings out. It's fun getting the flour and stirring it up. And, well, it doesn't matter if you get it all on you. <laughs> Mrs. McAdams says these bread-making classes make a lasting impression on the youngsters. They remember this for a long time to come. The other day I was buying flour at the supermarket for one of my classes, and the clerk said, you know, we made bread when I was in school. I said, really? She said, yeah, I still have the spoon. And we talked about it, and I had been the teacher. It's not easy making good bread. When these young folks have finished, 68 loaves of bread will have been baked. If they listen, did it right, they'll have nice, soft, delicious bread like this. Don't listen. Mess up. You know what you get? Lead bread. Nobody wants lead bread, so they listened and tried to get it right, because although this is fun, it's for those in need. Tomorrow morning, their bread will be taken to our daily bread. Lots of hungry Baltimoreans will get fresh bread tomorrow for lunch. Rob Roblin, WBAL 11 News. And it looks like they had a real good time. In fact, this is the second year the fifth graders have baked bread for the soup kitchen, our daily bread.